I thought I would love to do both, and then I realized what that meant. And I explained it a little bit to Anna and Lizzo on stick cam, or they were talking about it too. And I would love to do both. So what I what that means is I would I believe love is a transference of energy, magnetic transference of energy. So it it's it's re, it's not really it's it's good not to do it all the time because if you're loving, that's an active verb of giving energy magnetically to something or someone. So if you spend too much time loving, you'll lose altitude. And like Anna was saying, she loves too much and gets hurt because of the plane. If that's what you are, is flying. When you love a lot, you, you lose altitude and you bump on the ground as you're flying and taking structural damage from too much giving, too much love. So if you stop loving, you gain some altitude. And if you don't love, you go out and fly out into space and fly off out and die and become psychopathic or whatever they, that you fly off. So love will, will keep you back, will keep you down in the atmosphere, keep you back down. They say backing down isn't a good thing, but sometimes it really is. Because if you back down, if, if you have 100 people behind you, 5,000 feet behind you, and you're up there by yourself, and you come into 20 people that want to fight you, back down. Go back as they're coming forward, meet them, and then move together. Because if you're there by yourself, you're not going to stand much of a chance. You've got to love. And... So I am very good at not loving. I'm very good at staying hard and cold steel analytic. Figure out the issue at the cost of a person's feelings. But the problem is I go out into orbit when I do that for a long time. I go get kind of weird and distant from people and I don't I don't like talk to people or know how to talk to people normally because and it's great when I was around my family because my mom is I, I just would like demand it <laughs> kind of, when she talks to me. Um, so being here at my parents' house has kind of reinvigorated that feeling of love. It's it's good. I like giving. I was trained to do it, so I know how to do it. I had a bunch of brothers, but my mother, Becky. Is really is is really good. She's really got it together. She was like born in '53, and uh, you know, it was like 16 and 16 in 1969. Like right at the heart of the change. And because like since then we've all been kind of like one generational mind thought. But then you get somebody that's like 70 and they've got their mind still kind of like warfare, torture. You know, like they were involved in Korea and things. Well, I don't want to get too far off point, but I like I like expanding on my mom's life. But really, you should li listen to her tell you. There's a picture of her. I keep looking at. Um. This picture, dude. This picture is so awesome. Like, I would see this picture in a, in a, like in a magazine or something. It's like old school. Just standing in a trench coat, like in the rain. It's just symmetrically, it looks really good. Her legs are really straight and pointing in two different directions. Her hair is like, her arm, it looks really symmetrical. Uh, Alright, I'm going to explain a little bit more about love. After I put this thing back up on the wall. So I, what I said was I would love to do both, and I think what that means is if if I don't if I'm out too far away because I haven't given enough love, I'm not going to be able to get the footing I need to make the leaps, to the jumps that I need, the angular. If I can land, if I can come down to a solid surface, I can push off the surface to accomplish greater things, more things, multiple things. It's up there, I'm okay, I can float to one thing, but when I'm down, I can like, I can get and I can change direction because I have something to push off of. 
because I've given that floaty energy to someone else or to something else. But it's hard to love inanimate objects. Animals are good for it. They help. Hal's been helping. But like another person that you can have also a human co uh, conversation with, and you can have non-loving conversations with, and like expand and then like hit each other with it and come down and then fly out. It's kind of a rough process, but you can accomplish a lot.